Hello everyone. We have exponential equation over here. 9 to the power x is equal to 8 raised to power y equals 5184. And we have to find the value of x times y divided by x plus y. And before we start, for those new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate. Thank you very much. Now let's start solving the equation. So in this video, I'll be presenting two methods to solve for the algebraic expression x times y divided by x plus y. And here in the, the first method, we'll be using the laws of the common logarithm. And the second method, we'll be using the laws of exponents. All right, let's do it. So we have here the first method. Okay, now we take this first, 9 to the power of x. 9 to the power of x is equal to 5,184. And the second equation, consider that uh, 8 to the power of y equals 5,184. So in here we're using the laws of common logarithm. Now let's equate with this one first equation. We have now the log of 9 to the power x is equal to log of 5184 and get the value of x uh, putting the x on the front as the coefficient this is now x log of 9 equals log of 5184 and this could be written the same way as from this equation we can use also as uh, log of 9 to the power x to the base 9 equals log of 5184 base 9 that would be the same way since log of 9 base 9 it cancels out it means this is equal to 1 change of base formula so we ended up just with the value of x is equal to log of 5184 base 9 so that's the value of x and on here, the other equation, 8 to the power y is equal to 5,184. We'll be using log again, the same thing. So this is now log of 8 raised to the power y to the base 8 equals log of 5,184 base 8. So this ends up bringing, the, bringing down y as a coefficient since this log of 8 to the base 8 cancels out. Actually, the value of that is 1. 8 to the base 8 could be written the same way as uh, based on the uh, logarithm formula. Change the base formula that is log of 8 to the base 8 is the same as log of 8 divided by log of 8. So this is equal to 1. And since uh, y is the exponent, we have to do is transpose that y and become the coefficient. So the equation now becomes y log of 8 to the base 8 is equal to log of 5184 to base 8 where log of 8 to the base 8 is 1 so this is now y equals log of 5184 to the base 8 so that's the value of y so from here to get the value of the algebraic expression x times y divided by x plus y all we have to do is substitute the value of y and x on that uh, expression to find the value of it all right let's do it from the algebraic expression x times y divided by x plus y all we have to do is substitute the values of x and y to this uh, expression so this is now equal to x is equal to log of uh, 5,184 to the base 9 times log of 5,184 to the base 8. That's the value of y. And divided by x is the same thing as this. Log of 5,184 base 9 plus value, value of y is this. So log of 5,184 base 8. And in here, by using our calculator, get the value of log of 5,184 base 9 is 
3.89 times log of 5,184 to the base 8 is 4.11 and divided by this one right here 3.89 plus this the value of this one is which is 4.11 that is 4.11 by using our calculator these numbers came out 3.89 times 4.11 is 15.98 and 3.89 plus 4.11 is 8 and uh, the resulting number is 1.99 or that is approximately equal to 2 so that's the value of the algebra expression x times y divided by x plus y let's go to the second method where we're using the laws of exponent so we get this one first okay second method the first equation that is 9 to the power x is equal to 5184 and the second one is 8 to the power of y is 5184 and from here from the first equation on the left 9 to the power x is equal to 5184 we'll be clearing the exponent of x on here we'll be putting on the right so how are we going to do that? So this is now 9 to the power x is equal to 5184. That means the whole thing, the whole equation will be racing with the reciprocal of x. So that is to the power of 1 over x. So that's the same thing on the left. So power of x, the reciprocal of, uh, of x. So now this comes out, x times 1 over x is equal to 1 this becomes 9 and the right side the constant now become 5184 so the exponent 1 over x and on the right side 8 to the power of y is 5184 we'll be doing the same way so that is 8 to the power of y equals 5184 now this time we're raising to a power that's reciprocal of y so 1 over y times 1 over y. Alright, so this becomes now 8 is equal to 5184 to the power of 1 over y. So we have these two values. So from here, if we multiply these two values over here, 9 times 8, so we have now 9 times 8 is equal to this value multiplying to that value. So this is now 5,184 to the power of 1 over x times 5,184 to the power of 1 over y. And simplify, 9 times 8 is 72. It's equal to, since they have the same base, what we have to do is add the exponent from the power rule. That is a raised to m times a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. So in here now, 5184 raised to the power 1 over x plus 1 over y. And uh, this is now 5184, 5184 raised to the power, this uh, exponent right here, that is 1 over x plus 1 over y. Simplify this expression. This becomes y plus x divided by x times y. See, so cross multiply. It's a butterfly method. Y, time, y times 1 is y, x times 1 is x. Divide by, multiply the, the denominator, turns out x times y. So the exponent now becomes y plus x divided by x times y. Left side of the equation the same, that's 72. And uh, if you notice, since our aim is getting the value of the expression x times y divided by x plus y, so this means this is direct reciprocal of that uh, expression that we need to find. Since we're going to, we, we are required to find for the value of uh, 
the expression x times y divided by x plus y. So this is exactly the reciprocal of this, the value of the exponent. So what are we going to do next is uh, raise the, uh, the equation, the whole equation with the reciprocal of this exponent. All right, so let's do that. So we're raising now the whole equation to the reciprocal of the exponent. So that is multiplying by x, the exponent multiplied by xy divided by x plus y. So left side becomes now 72 raised to the power of x times y divided by x plus y is equal to, since this one cancels out, see so the numerator and the denominator just the same, the same, th the same way on here, y plus x, yeah, x plus y or y plus x the same. So this cancels, so this end up, we have just 5,184. And the, the corresponding value of 5,184 is 72 is squared. So the equation now becomes 72 raised to the power x times y divided by x plus y is equals to 72 is squared. Now since they have both the same base, so from the exponent rule, one of the formulas that is a to the b is equal to a to the c. Therefore, b is equal to c. So we're creating the exponents. So this equation becomes now x times y divided by x plus y is equal to 2. So that's the final answer. If you notice that's the same from the first method. It was 1.99. The value of the expression x times y divided by x plus y it's the same as 2. So that's the answer. Now you are maybe wondering uh, how did they get 72 square out of 5184? And uh, so in this case I will show you. All I had to do is, since the number is divisible by 2, so I just keep dividing the number by 2 and thereby I will find out the factors of 5184. So I'll show you. So the number 5,184 is divided by 2, since this, this number is divisible by 2. So this is, uh, this one right here is an uh, even number. So I just kept dividing by 2 until I found out that, uh, you, and uh, the bottom is 81 already. You cannot divide that by 2 already. So I stopped right there. And if you know this, these are the factors of that, the remaining factors of 5,184, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this simply means this translated to exponential form that is 2 to the 6 power. And so I have the factors of 5,184 turns out to be 2 to the 6 power and 81. And these uh, factors can, can be translated as uh, 81 is a perfect square of 9. 9 times 9 is 81. And 2 to the 6th power is the same reading as 2 raised to the power 2 times 3, since 2 times 3 is 6. So this can be written, so this is 9 by 9, so that's 9 squared. And this is translated to a, the same way written as 2 raised to 3 times 2, or the same way written as 2 to the power 3, that's 8, 8 to the power of 2. And... 9 to the power of 2. So these factors turn out to be 8 squared times 9 squared. And since they have both the same exponent, uh, this can be written the same way as 8 times 9 is squared. And 8 times 9 is the same as the 72 is squared. So that's how I ended up 72 is squared for the number 5,184. So that's 72 squared. That's the value of 5,184, 73 squared. So that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate 
Thank you very much. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.